now this panel is ready to go. Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Engineering Bytes, how to avoid installation errors of Power SPD. My name is Grace, your host for today. And now let's welcome the expert of today's episode, CK. Thanks Grace. Hi everyone, my name is CK. I'm the Senior Application Engineer from Application Centre Singapore. Hi CK. Today can we talk about the common installation errors of Power SPD and how do we avoid them? Okay, before I explain about the bad installation of Power SPD, I would like to explain the setup of this panel. Over here, we have a three-phase miniature circuit breaker for the incoming and right beside it, we have a few terminal blocks. Followed by a Type 1 Power SPD, which is our FLT SEC series. And this is a typical panel that we can see in an industry building. It looks quite neat. Can you spot any errors? The installation is very neat, but the cable length is a bit too long. According to IEC 60364, the wiring length from the terminal box to the Power SPD needs to be lesser than 0.5 meter. The cable should be as short as possible without making any loops. Only with shorter cable, the Power SPD will be effective. Because with a longer cable, there is a huge potential difference which might be harmful for your downstream system. I see. Since there's already been an established rule about this, why do panel builders still use such long cables? Panel builders or the installer usually use longer cable for the convenience of installation. Instead, they should prioritise the standard of installation. Shall we rectify the mistake? Yeah, we should rectify the mistake by replacing the long cable with a shorter cable. Alright, let's do it. I have now replaced the long cable with a shorter cable. Wow, I see. We have now rectified the long cable mistake. What is the next common mistake that we need to look out for? Next, we need to check on the cross-section of the earth cable, which is the green and yellow cable. As you can see over here, the cross-section of the earth cable is same as the other conductor, which is only 6mm squared. According to IEC 60364, an earth cable needs to be at least 16mm squared. Why do we need such large cross-section? The reason that the earth cable needs larger cross-section because it needs to carry the surge away in the event of surge. Imagine if you use a thinner cable for the earth cable, in the event of surge, the cable might even caught fire due to the large current passing through. I see. Uh, shall we rectify the mistake now? Yes. Let's do it. Now, the cross-section of the earth cable is thicker than the rest of the conductor. Wow, we have all the wiring done. Looks like this panel is good to go. Let me check if the termination is fully tightened or not. No, the termination is loose. This is a common mistake made by the panel builder or the installer. Always tighten the terminal to the correct top value. You can always refer to our package slip or data sheet of our Power SPD for the recommended top value. It is best to use a top wrench so that you know when is it correctly top. If the terminal is not correctly top, the cable might come loose in the event of search. Can you help to rectify this mistake? Sure. And now, this panel is ready to go. Thank you, CK. 
Installation of SPD is important for maximum protection of your system. Some installations might look neat, but if the installation rules are not respected, then chances are your equipment or devices may not be protected as intended. For robust protection, always follow the rules by the SPD manufacturers. Thank you for your time, CK. Thanks for having me today. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Engineering Bytes and see, see you in, in the, the next, next episode. episode.